Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. So we're on, I think, the fourth world at this point, and we've got a whole bunch of side quests to do once again. I feel like this time they're going to be different because we did the first one last time, and we fought three bosses at once. So let's go ahead and, um, yeah, let's continue right where we left off. Today is probably going to be another one of those famous side quest episodes. Um, so... I haven't edited all of my videos yet, so I don't know how I'm going to end up in the end producing them, but I think, like, all of the side quests I'm going to end up putting in single episodes, so there's only going to be four episodes of side quests, or three episodes of side quests, technically, which, if you look at other playthroughs on YouTube, might be different. Welcome. Okay, all. Let's take care of the bridge, right? Is it just going to be Praline or is it going to be others? Okay, I think it's... Um, is it just her? We've, we've done this fight like a million times, so... I'm just going to skip this event. Is it only her? It's only her. Okay, so another normal side quest then. Fair enough. The thief jumped in. So other things do jump in then. Okay. Cool. I like that. Like I said, I'm loving these fights where there's multiple of the bosses in the same fight. Run away. Never mind, he's just not going to fight because I defeated Praline too quick. Fair enough. No one talks to the jackal like that. The who? The jackal, I said. Great thief of the sands. And you can add asterisk holder and grunt in the attorney and forces to the list once more. Ooh, so you're a member of the forces too, Mr. Jackal? Did you come on orders from Swordmaster Kami Izumi then? Come again? Swordmaster who? Nobutsuna Kami Izumi? You mean you've never heard of him? He's super tall and wields a mean sword, and he's always in a long green robe. A swordsman in a green robe? <gasps> she must mean the chief. He did say he had some pressing business and wanted me to handle that thing for old man TikTok. So. Oh, right! That order! <laughs> well, great then! After you, Mr. Jackal! Lead the way! Hmm. Okay. That was an interesting fight. So the thief jumped in for a moment. But since I defeated Praline so quick, um, basically just jumped right out. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's go to... As he would say it, let's go to old man TikTok over at Einch Eincham, I guess. Let's get off here. Um, well, first I'm guessing we're gonna go to the Prophet Tour first, and then we could fight Old Man TikTok as the Jackal Okay, said. it is nighttime. Let me get my cursor off the screen. Let's go ahead and do what we normally do for the Time Mage side quest. We go in at night. We have to go in here. We have to go through the dungeon. And then, um, we confront. And I'm guessing this would be a really cool fight. I'm just going to make a prediction here. I think we're going to fight the Profiteur, Kent, and the Time Mage. So I think it's going to be a three-man fight with those three. That would make sense to me, at least. Let's go ahead and give it a quick save. Hello. Okay. Holder. And here we go to the here. Run, run, run. Yeah, let me start first. Oh, let's get the jackal. What are you doing here? Let's see. So this is new. Oh, we just walk up to him. Okay. That would be old man TikTok. Indeed. And he's the reason the chief asked me to bring you here. 
by Chief. You mean the Sword Master? Yeah, that's the one. <clears throat> this is Praline Alamo, so called diva of the battlefield day. Where are your manners, TikTok? That's no way to greet a guest. TikTok? It's you who want to mind his tongue, urchin. I am King of Ansheim, an honorable consul to the Camer and Profiteer Merchantry. <laughs> king? What's so grand about a king? Your parents were less louts than mine, that's all. What so... I am king, boy! Kings command respect and adulation by virtue of being king. Are you truly so crassly ignorant? So what? You think you're better than the chief? With that weird thing on your head? I'll say this, you got brass. Oh, wait, is that bronze? The royal raiment is not weird. This is funny. You know this is the very latest in fashion. Excuse me, Mr. Jackal. Where will I be performing? Why, yes. Yes, of course. You've quite the reputation, Miss Diva. I trust the rumors do not exaggerate your talents. I have deigned to introduce your melodious voice and dancing to the people of Anshire. For in my quest to industrialize this land, the people have suffered great pains. In recompense for their long years of labor, I would have them forget their hardship. If only for a moment. Uh, why? We're the Cameron Profitor Merchantry, remember? We squeeze the people dry, then keep them in line by flashing the Duchy's power at them! Uh, I have no idea what you mean. What? Really? Swordmaster really wants us to do that? Oh, absolutely! Heard it straight from the Chief's mouth. Well, all right then. I can't say I really like this, but I'm a professional, so... Stop right there. I heard every last word. Hmm. You've already worked the people to the bone. Now you want to force more labor on them in exchange for a song? I'm not letting that happen. That's not what I said at all. <laughs> you again? Come on, TikTok. You get to help this time. Let's get him. And get him good. Ooh, that's my cue. Okay, this fight might be a little harder, because <laughs> Praline now boosts these two up. Instead of lowly little other ones. Okay. Okay, that's stop. Okay, I don't like that. But it seems to have missed, so we're good. Okay. Let's go ahead and do Hiraga. And then let's do Love Power twice. And let's go ahead and just do the... Ooh, no. Then we're just going to go ahead and... Let's just start using some fire here. Let's go ahead and use the Internment. That's a really strong attack. It's everyone with 7k. That's a lot. <clears throat> okay. She's like out of mana now, but... That was a lot of damage on everyone. In my in my head, that's almost worth it. Okay, now... Agnes and Tiz are gonna pull off some really strong attacks here. Okay, so their evade is high. That's not gonna really help that much. Let's do... Um, oh wait, let's go ahead and take care of... Praline first. I don't want her doing anything crazy like buffing them up too much. Let's go ahead and hit Praline. And then let's go ahead and do another Kiraga here and hopefully ring a bell. Perfect timing for that heal. Perfect timing. Because Adia would have probably died right there. Praline should die here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we finish off the rest of the two. And these two shouldn't be that hard, really. Okay, and let's just go ahead and um, do the same thing. Adia will not do anything here because she doesn't have anything, but whatever. I just wanted to auto it just so I didn't have to click all those hidden dragons again, honestly. Kiraga, that's one that I actually did want to happen. 
Spora. Okay, that's fine. I right, we should be able to finish him off here, honestly. Um, or just get him very close to dead. That's for sure. Easy. I don't know about that one, mate. Maybe... Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Maybe in this world he does. Maybe in this world he does. And then I kind of feel bad, but... I see. I regret my failure to see... Where will the kingdom... I... Okay. Same old dialogue from that guy. Say, chief. What are digits? Another word for fingers and toes. Why do you ask? I met this girl who sang a song that went... I gave him my digits! Just watch him, fidget! That's... awfully macabre. Right? Clueless. Okay. When are we fighting Kent? That's my question. I want to fight that guy. He's sick. Stupid, but sick. Okay, well, on to the next one. <clears throat> okay, everybody, on to the next side, side quest we go. It looks like we're here at Yoliana again. I wonder what this is about. I wonder if we have to fight Yoliana and DeRoso or something like that. Guess let's see. And who have we here? Oh my! Have we seen him in this world? Faces one and all, but all grown up. <laughs> so I ask, why have you come? Do you wish for me to assess your progress so far? Sure. Our... Wait, you don't mean... Let us do battle. Ah, the ardor of youth. Okay. Oh, but you're... Huh? Hmm? And what's this presence? Ah, it seems she found what she was after. She? Who? And are we going to fight or not? <laughs> no need to be hasty, child. My tasty little disciple is nearly here. Mm. Uh, tasty? Master, it's been far too long. <laughs> They're both summoners. You're looking lovely as ever, child. Though it wouldn't kill you to write now and again. Last I heard, you had abandoned yourself to the depths of despair. But now I sense the power of Susano O within you. He's not the sort to be tamed by someone in a state of spiritual confusion. It was a mercy I never found his whereabouts during those troubled times. I'd have failed to claim this power, and quite possibly lost much more. I take it the fellow outside has something to do with it? Well, don't keep him standing there. Who's the second guy? Yes, master. Please, come in. Oh, hello, oh. Dead. <clears throat> Pardon the intrusion. Pirate. <clears throat> <laughs> a fine specimen of a man, this one. Ah. But you look familiar. The name is Hayretton Barbarossa. Captain Barbarossa, if you like. I sought Susano -o by the dying wish of my dear friend Suleiman. Suleiman, you say? So Mophelia's, he's gone from this world, is he? Losing him was what first plunged me into my spiral of despair. So that ghost ship? I was forced to play a hand in only made The ghost ship worse. captain is related to her? Had my elder sister and Harry and not shepherded me away from such dark duties, I would surely have. It was just as I regained some measure of sanity that I received word from Barbarossa. I... I misread the word Suleiman left me, I'm ashamed to say. And in grand passion, I'd been sailing waters so misreckoned as to make a man's head swim. <laughs> Barbarossa, 
Barbarossa took me aboard, for all my haste, and delivered me to the Anchorite of War. Only managed to set a wrong course two or three times along the way. He then bravely offered to guard me from the Anchorite's ordeal. <laughs> Worth nothing more than anyone with a big axe would have done. That is how I mastered Susanoo. Alone, I would surely have failed. But with Suleiman's strength, my sister's thoughtfulness, and Barbarossa's support. The aid of others does not diminish the scale of one's achievements. Indeed, for one who so closed her heart to others, seeing such cooperation is wonderful. A greater accomplishment even than taming Susano O's fury. And one that I pray will be a greater strength to you than any spell. Ah, but speaking of trials... We're right here. <clears throat> I am confronted now by these fearless foes you see before me. I would have you, Mephelia, and that gentleman there assist these tired old bones of mine. What? <laughs> With delight, Summoner Mephelia Venus is ever ready for a challenge. Let's do it. <laughs> likewise, likewise, weak, tired old conjurer Yuliana. <laughs> All right, this should be a pretty hard fight. Um, let's see. I think I don't know who we want to take out first. Probably Yuliana, right? Because he's generally probably the strongest. So we should probably take him out. Let's hope we don't no one gets KO'd right here. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. That's not a big issue. Okay, let's go ahead and do Kiraga, and then let's do two love powers here. And then, like usual, we're gonna go ahead and let's do some internment on everyone, and this should hurt a lot. Yeah, and this is like 7k to everyone. Okay, good. I didn't I didn't need a Dia to die there. I should also do a magic of power once in a while here. That's strong. This is a this that's a it's a lot of mana, but it's a strong attack. Okay. And now Agnes and Tiz should be able to basically just finish everyone off here. Let's take Yoyana out first, just because I think he's gonna be the biggest challenge here. Um, but, let's go ahead and do a Kiraga, ooh, what am I doing, a Kiraga, and then along with that, I also want to, let's see, raise physical attack for everyone a little bit here. Okay, that hurt it a little bit, but we healed right after, so, yeah, let's, let's raise our physical attack, because it looks like we're going to get hit quite a bit here. Meteor? Oh, Idea got healed by that Meteor, which you love to see. Okay, Yoliana should be dead with Agnes here. Perfect. Okay. I think next, we should probably go for Barbarossa here. So, we're going to just... Ooh, so, ooh that sucks a little bit. Okay, but I think we're fine. We only got Barbarossa left, and he should die here. Okay, ooh, lost the crystal stuff. Wonder if that's any better. Such great power. You have grown strong in such a short time, Agnes. <sighs> and you, Sage, you're quite formidable for a man of your age. Ah, that was fun. Not until the... And you, Mephilia, and your magnificent axemen there. My thanks for your assistance. Now, the Vestal and her followers here are wanted by the Duchy. What will you do? Give chase? Report them to the authorities? I intend to leave Eternia for a time. There's something on my mind of late. Is there now? 
I have an inkling of just what that might be. Very well. But do be careful, child. I'll be begging your leave as well, sir. My thanks for the excitement. A mighty fine battle it was. Indeed. Your prowess in combat is as much a breath of fresh air now as 15 years ago. <laughs> so you remembered that, eh? <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> Come visit again any time you please. Okay. That was that side quest. Um, <clears throat> bless me. Thank you. Okay. Let's do party chat. The great Brussels sprouts giveaway. Everyone, you simply must hear this. The sage is just terrible. Tia Giugiano, what on earth happened? He pestered me to cook him a meal until I couldn't stand it anymore. I gave in and spent half a day in the kitchen preparing a roast bitter melon rice bowl. And do you know what the sage did with all my hard work? He fed it to the dog when I wasn't looking. Actually, the dog left it for the cat to eat. Yes, then the cat left it to the crow. Sad. Okay, let's go ahead and head to Florum. Real quick, before I go, let me just heal. Okay, another party chat. Thanks for the eats. Oh, I see you've become quite the meat eater now, Anyas. Yes, I can eat meat now, just not too much. When we first met, you couldn't eat fish, let alone meat. That is true. When was it that you first started to eat fish and meat? It wasn't the first world. She still couldn't eat it then. Perhaps it was from the third world? In, in truth, it was since the first world. Really? When? It was what Ringabel said on our way from Florum to Eisenberg. What did he say? Sometime after we left the Grand Ship, our provisions started to grow low and... Yeah, I remember that. What an awful experience. We all dangled lines and hooks overboard all day long. And yeah, we barely caught a thing. And even when we did, Anya's couldn't eat it anyway. We couldn't even harvest seaweed because we were so far out to sea. Remember that one night where we split the little herrings we caught amongst ourselves? At that time, partially because of what had happened to Avilia, I had closed my heart to you all. I will never forget this. I did not eat a bite of the grilled eyes and flounder that you had prepared for me, Tez. That is when Ringabel said to me, Agnes, who do you th think? Who do you thank when food is put on the table? And he scolded me, saying it was rude to not eat what Tez has made for me. That was the first time I thought of it that way, but even more surprising was what Ringabel said next. The word thanks is not only for Tiz, who prepared your meal. It's also for the life that was sacrificed so that you could eat it. That was quite a shock to me, saying thank you for a life taken. I had always avoided eating meat and fish because I associated it with taking life. But Ringabel opened my eyes. Everything I consumed, whether grain, vegetable, even tea, was once alive. But if I were to say my thanks to all life that had been sacrificed so that I could eat and live, then there's no reason you can't eat meat and fish. Exactly. That's not at all like Ringabel to say something as profound as that. I learned that from the Grand Marshal. You were there too, Adia. You must have heard what he said. Really? Wait, uh, maybe? Okay, um, just for the giggles, um, I like to stop at the Patriarch every world just to see what's going on. I know we're gonna learn it in the side quest, but let's just see what she says this time around. Okay, so same thing. So in this world, she is alive and hiding. In one world, she was dead, and in another one, she wasn't. Okay, let's go to the side quest then. Ooh, a blue chest. I don't think we en ever ended up getting this blue chest, so that's another one. Royal crown. Ooh, I forgot. I have a bunch of equipment. We should really see if any of that is any good here. Um, so I think this bloody shield is the best, because that's one that actually came out of something. Okay, so this raises... Um... Mm, I think for what it... Actually, I think that is worth it. I am going to go ahead and put that on. What the heck are those three doing together? Go to the trouble of founding the Eternian Board of Girl Power, recruit members from across the duchy... And this is the turnout? What ails the girls of Eternia these days? What happened to girl power? Surely you agree, Artemia? Sleep. That sickly sweet 
such fame seekers so eager to do anything for attention. And that arrogant old bat who thinks her curves will last out the year. A fine pair of fools, the both of them. Wouldn't you say, Kikyo? <sighs> Artemia, I like what your sister Anyeria has been doing with that classical relaxed look. Sister have zero girl power. Sister have more man power than man. <laughs> Anyone want some candy? Good! Y yes yes it is! Artemia, admire your girl power! Artemia, give Victoria this! <gasps> is this... It is! A Frosty Charm bracelet! And it's the Eternian Limited Edition! I can really have it? Artemia makes bracelets! Sell to many, many traders! Wholesale, side job! Really? You're the one who makes these? Artemia all alone is child, raised by Frosty. So Artemia know what Frosty look like. Artemia even make Frosty with eyes closed. Oh, th that's girl power. Girl power. Artemia give to Kikyo too. This perfectly captures the essence of those cute little Frosties. I just adore how you've re... Produced every last detail, I envy those amazingly talented hands of yours and humbly request. You make Carbuncle and Ratatos charm bracelets next. That would be lovely. Thank you. Oh, what a chatterbox you are. Good trick. Good lung capacity. Great fluency. Yours is a strange and wondrous brand of girl power, Kikyo. <laughs> What have we here? Uninvited guests? Pitiful fools, jealous of our girl power. Grind them to death, lady. Bad start. Just a bad start. Not our fault. See, where the fairy flies, if you look, it says airy lies. Right there. Ooh. There. Airy lies. Oh, it's just Victoria, man. The other two don't cause me much trouble. It's just Victoria. Okay, let's see. We need another new approach. Moonbeam on Victoria. Let's just do a rampart on every one right away. Default. And then just one of those on every one. Okay, so a little bit of damage. Poison, that sucks a little bit. Let's go ahead and put a rampart up. Okay, get the moonbeam going so we can get our attack up a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and default. I want to... You know what? Let's just do two love powers here. And then let's do a holy weapon just to get our magic attack up a little bit. Okay, that's good. Tiz, Tiz would have died without the rampart there, so... Very useful. Alright. Slash those. Artemia is now poisoned. Okay, that sucks, but that's alright. Okay. Tiz is dead. How much is the attack power is at 170? So, I think we should go ahead and... um. Let's see. I think... I don't know. I kind of want to do... Let's just do Hidden Dragons, I guess. It sucks that we have to go to the end of the turn, but it is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and just do an Arise on Tiz. And then... Let's do the Magic Defense for four turns, because we're having a bit of trouble with the poison here. Okay. That didn't kill any of our people, so that's kind of all that matters, really. Okay, guarded. That's fine. You can do what you want there. Now, Agnes is going to have to be healed here. Hmm, actually, she might just get auto-phoenixed. But here's what I'm going to do, and this is kind of dumb. Let's just do two internments. Can I do three? I can do three. And then... How much magic do I have? I literally have nothing, huh? 
Okay. Well, then, for the last one, we'll just do... I don't know. What could even be useful here? You know what? Let's just not do that third attack there. That would just make it easier. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Ooh, Tiz is still alive. That's some good stuff. Okay, that's a lot of damage. That killed Agnes. I thought it was going to auto-phoenix her. Apparently not. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're actually just need two. We're going to go ahead and rejuvenate. And then Kiraga. Ooh. If you kill anyone, it's actually... That's fine, because we rejuvenate anyway. So, honestly, they killed the characters that quite literally didn't matter if they died. So, that's fine with me. And we heal them up. We're back We're back on top. Okay, let's go ahead and do some... More hidden, weight, hidden dragons on Victoria. Let's do a rampart. And then some hidden dragons on Victoria. Um... Let's see, with Ring a Bell, I think we should just pull off a Kiraga, like a premeditated Kiraga here. And can we do, we can do two internments, so let's just do just two. Let's do that, like this. Okay, everyone should be shielded, so hopefully no one will die this turn. Two internments, that's not that bad. That's not that bad either. Kiraga out of that. Victoria's out of here. Okay. So, we could probably kill another care. Ooh. Guarded. There. Okay, there's Victoria. Okay. She's currently defaulted, which sucks. Okay, we could probably just default and default again. Okay, guarded. Let's go ahead and do a My Hero here to get everyone a little up and running just a tiny bit faster here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and um, do the Rampart, my hero, ooh, guarded, you suck, I don't have enough BP for that, okay, well that's fine, Agnes will just do it, okay, finally, we did it, we, f we, we won this fight, it took a little while, but we did it. before the barbarians begin to rub up on us. Okay, was that it? Should I be mad? I feel mad. Really authentically angry. <laughs> oh, is it because they called them men? Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and grab a teleport stone out of here. Also turn that auto off. To the next side quest we go. Okay. Who is he? It's Kent. What's he doing here? Commander? Commander Kent? I'm here, yeah. You've changed. I suppose 15 years is a lifetime at your age. Yet you've changed more than I, Commander. Those robes. <laughs> I am no Commander. At least not now. I... Much has happened since last we met. Ow, 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 ow. Are you hurt, child? Stranger, where are you from? I come from a far away. Hmm? Do I look so unusual? No, there's this man who sends money for my treatments from someplace real far away. When I saw you, I thought, I wonder what he's like. Hmm. You don't say. Well, run along now. Is that what he does with his money? Do you know that child? No. You... 
You defended her by defending this city. Who? Me? Yes, as commander. And I as a new trainee. We also had a medic in training in... Uh... Ah. Holly! Speak of the devil! I'm Heria. And... Is that you, Commander? It's been some time, Molly. What brings you here? I had heard you'd been sent to Caldisla. Oh, Victor called me back, so... Victor? Holly, are you and he still... <sighs> Spare me. That was over ten years ago. What? He said he needed me for an experiment involving white magic waves or some such. Oh. I just assumed. <sighs> Enough about me. What's your excuse? You and your sisters were sent to Florum, last I heard. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have a message I must convey to the Lord Marshal. To the Templar? I hear ya. Adia, what took you so long? Hey, we can debate my punctuality later. Listen. Tell your fool sister to stop aiming for the forehead when delivering messages by arrow. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Well, what do you want? And be quick about it. This is hostile territory for me, so... Ah, uh, yes. But before we get to that, I have a little test of skill for you. A what? Commander Kint? Holly? I would like to see if she has what it takes. Perhaps you might lend me a hand? I suppose. I can't say I follow, but it sounds entertaining enough. What about my boat? Let's do this. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for Kent first. Let's go ahead and default. Just a couple defaults here. Okay, fire. That's not a bad one, honestly. Arrow. That's not bad at all. Okay. Not terrible. A L little bit of damage everywhere, but... Let's go ahead and do... Love power, love power... Kiraga. And then we can do the internment and just hit everybody for a whole lot right here. 7k on each one. It's 21k damage every single time. Crazy amount of damage. Absolutely wild. Okay. Kiraga, make sure no one dies. And then Anyas and Tiz will go crazy next turn here. Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. Ooh, not run. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Let's just go ahead and, uh... Let's do some hidden dragons. Let's get rid of Kent first. Just because I don't like him. Okay, more hidden dragons. And then let's do a Kirada. And hopefully... Okay, good. Hopefully we heal first. So whatever they do won't just directly kill us. Okay, and here he is in the air now. But that's alright because I wasn't attacking her anyway. We can just get rid of Kint here. Okay, next we can go for Holly. This shouldn't be too hard. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, do much of the same here. Okay, Adia can't do anything, but whatever. We're not going to lose this battle. This battle isn't that hard, so I don't, I don't mind that much, really. The Kira is the same thing. Okay. KO'd M Holly. Oh, we just got in here, you left. And I think Tiz should be able to probably take care of this. Easy. Crystal Mail and Hyper Bracers. Can't use either of those. Because we got monks. Well, now would be a, a good time to tell me what you want. Adia, I would ask a favor. Now that you've proven you are up to the task. Go on. I've recently come upon some shocking information. Three conspirators plotting to overthrow the duchy are set to gather in secret conference in the coming days. Why are you telling this to me? You can take care of it yourself, Einheria. 
One of these villains is a superior of mine. And 15 years ago, the other two. What? Are you certain? I am ashamed to say the duchy is far more fragmented than you suspect, Adia. Ironically, one in your position may have more freedom to act than any of us, given the circumstances. The commander and I make for the Lord Marshal. I ask that you pluck these vipers' fangs. Consider them plucked. Whatever their reasons, conspiracy and lies are a coward's tools. Then the task is yours. Right then. I should go and pass word of all this along to Victor. I thank you. Okay. Alright, well then, I don't I don't know if that's an actual thing we have to do, but I'm definitely willing to. I hope by these people who want to overthrow... I wonder if they're talking about Kami Izumi. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a quick save here. And then we'll go do this side quest. Is it really only him? No. And who might you be? It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Archduke De Rosa. I knew it wasn't just going to be him. I am Victor S. Court of the Duchy's Council of Six. Ah, the child prodigy. I believe we've met once before, though you may not recall it. So, what brings the brilliant young scholar whose findings saw Eternia become a land of life everlasting here? Surely not the architecture. This castle was built in a fit of boredom, and looks every bit the part. Just what is it you want, Mr. Court? I... The life I have dedicated my own to saving will soon be snuffed out. I have tried the latest in medical technology, pioneered by my father in my own research. A forbidden art, consumed by the orthodoxy. I transmuted the waves emanating from the Earth Crystal into healing energy. And yet... And yet... I even exhumed the Vampire's Crypt, buried deep beneath the Head Temple. Did you now? More than feel disappointed, I had to laugh at the crass handiwork I found within. The remains were a motley mix of bones, so jumbled, I couldn't begin to say which beasts they were taken from. At the time, I dismissed the stories for a farce at the end of a senseless struggle for political power. But the paintings I saw while on the way up here have convinced me anew. Lord De Rosso, are you not privy to the secret of true life everlasting? And if I were, what then, good doctor? I would humbly ask for a sample of that immortal body. Would you graft tissue grown from my flesh into her? Or perhaps create a new life altogether. I find you as frightening as you are pitiable. <clears throat> I am not unwilling to offer you a part of me to further your work. But I would first have you show me the true depths of your despair. Do battle alongside me. Cast your life into the crucible. Let's do it. Is it only them two, though? Only them two. Okay. We definitely want to get rid of DeRosso first, 100%. So we're going to go ahead and default, default, default here. Okay, that sucks a little bit, but not that big of an issue. Default again. Holy. Okay, not that big of a deal as Adia actually heals from that. Let's go ahead and do a heal. And then two love powers. Go ahead and go into the two piercing bolt at Lord DeRoso, along with. Hmm. I think in this case we'll just go with some Furagas here. Okay. Holy. Okay, that's not terrible. I need the vampire not to go because I think Adia will die. But I guess Adia is going right now, so it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, Furaga. Those aren't do those are doing a good amount of damage, so honestly happy with those. Okay, we got a heal off. And okay, now we've got that physical attack up. I can start. Why well, that didn't literally that didn't do anything. Okay. Well now we can start doing the hidden dragons on Lord DeRoso here. 
And considering we're doing eight of them, this should probably kill them. Holy... Okay, as long as they don't die, I could care less. Okay, that sucks a little bit, but it won't stop our hidden dragons. That's the one good, good, better part about this now, instead of using the pressure points, because now, if they steal BP, I don't go into the complete red. Okay? Same thing. Wait, Adia's not... Oh, okay, I was like, why isn't Adia... I better guess use their special first, right? Okay. Now, Tiz... And now, yes, we'll just punch him to death. Cool. I'm... Well, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Can't go higher than 150. Okay, Fairy's Aid. That's not going to help you much, bud. Because Agnes will kill you here. Yep. Easy. Another Mega Elixir. Okay, those Mega Elixirs are very useful, so... We take those. I am a man of my word. Behold, what's wrong, Victor? You seem uninterested in viewing the next painting. But so be it. Here is what you sought. I doubt there has ever been a man who sought the secret of life so doggedly, while so dogged by despair. Consider this my gift to a man ever on the edge of hopelessness, whiling away his years in fruitless study. From a man no less hopeless, victim to an eternity of years fruitlessly whiled away. I am eternally grateful, my lord. The nature of my immortality is, for lack of a better word, a cult. I know not what secrets your modern medicine can tease from this lock of hair, but you are welcome to try. Ah, one further thing. Should my gift prove the seed for some new life, I would... Lilia, my lord? Lilia de Rosso. It was my mother's name. May your work prove fruitful, Victor. Now, will the rest of you join me at the final painting? Do we have to actually see it again? Lord de Rosso's angel painting. It's as he said. She looks just like Agnes. You can say that again. Yes, they could be twins. Is there really such a resemblance? Did I speak thus in the previous world? Oh, Lord De Rosso. I don't recall if you truly said that. I seem to recall he did. At least I think. Well, no matter. The truth is, there is a striking resemblance. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. Teleport stone out. Yeet. And we've got one more side quest and then the crystals. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and save that next side quest for next episode alongside the crystals. So I think, yeah, next episode what we'll do is that episode will be just side quest, four crystals, whatever happens next. And the episode after will be... Whatever happens after that. Um, but, alright guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a supposed channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.